Hi, it's C here from Craftman Guts. Today I will be making a barrel satchel bag. This is a super fun project for beginner to intermediate level. That is Gus right there, standing on the left. Let's begin. First cut the leather. All the patterns are available online. See the link in the description box below. For this leather, I use 2cm D-ring. First glue the leather, leaving the center part unglued. Then slide in the D-ring and fold the leather to close. Skive the side cassette in from the edge about 1cm and you want to leave the top part unskived. You will want the thickness of the leather to be about 1mm. Skive the double cassette part as well. Cut through the pattern like this so you can get a more precise marking on your leather. If you hear a dog sound, that's our dog, Tap Tim. Make sure you roughen off the smooth surface of the leather. This will make the glue adhere much better. Wait for the glue to dry and become tacky. And now you can stick the D-ring to the cassette and stitch. And again, always roughen the smooth surface of any leather before you glue. You can use the cutter or you can use the sandpaper to roughen the edge. Now we always have questions like, what type of glue do you use? We actually use the regular rubber cement for leather. You just need the glue to become dry and tacky before attaching. And to sew this part, I will be sewing by hand on one side and doing machine sewing on the other side and let's see how it turns out. And there it is, both sides identical. Now let's move on to gluing and stitching the interface to the body. Make sure you skype in the edge of the interface in about 1cm. And let's glue and stitch the interface to the body together. Use the compass to draw the stitch line for your pricking iron. I usually measure the thread about 4 times the stitch line plus a little bit more for the needles. Use the plier to flatten the thread. This will make threading needles so much more easier. Use the pattern to mark where the flap and the strap will be glued to the body and then stitch them all together. also indicate the stitch line so you can use that to mark where you begin and where it ends. The X 
also on the flat pattern indicates where the rivets will be so this is where you want to punch a hole through for the rivets Let's install the rivets. The size of the rivets really depending on uh, your preference, so that's all up to you. Use the setter to set the rivets. I will be flipping it to the flat side. This will make the bottom of the rivet flat. This will make the rivet attaching more secure. Let's make the handle. Use the pattern to mark where you will be gluing and then glue. Slide in the rectangle ring and then fold the leather together. Then the smooth surface of the leather just to where you'll be gluing and then apply glue all over and also apply glue to the handle wrapper and now you will be attaching the glue together and start wrapping. Mark your stitch line and use the pricking iron to lightly prick and then you'll be using the awl to pierce through all the layers of the thick leather. After stitching the handle, prepare the leather to slide in rectangle ring then attach the handle to the flap by installing the rivets. Depending on the type of lock accessories you are planning to use, the process of installing might be a little bit different. Now it's time to glue the main body and the gazette together. For hand stitching, make sure you pre-prick the side of the main body before gluing.
And there it is, we're almost done. After you finish gluing, all through all the pierced holes, and then start stitching. Hi, it's me, Gus. It's time for setting up the lock. Just right now, place on the flap first and draw on the paper. Actual paper, actual place, actual back. It gives you the more precise position. Use an owl. My favorite anvil with a letter on top will help the top position. You can knock it easily. Then, yeah, put the legs in and put the lock helper and bend it out. It will be easier, better for lock it up. Yep. And then use the iron anvil. Knock on it again. It will be easier and lock well. Hi, I'm back again. To finish that off, we'll use that thin piece of leather to glue the back. Use the rectangle ring holder pattern to mark the spot for the rivet position to be attached to the bag. Cut the strap 2 cm wide and the length is up to your preference. And there it is, the bag is completed. Alright, thank you guys for staying in until the end of the video. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like. And don't forget that bell button. See you in the next video. Bye.